I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds! in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Racer And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. how it plays out stylistically. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches his matchup. Let's go, on a push. Out of range with that one. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the defender. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Slips. Lee gets tattooed with that hook. He's going to have to change some things here. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. Though. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch from the clinch. Just missed with the left there. Outstanding kick there by Lou. Right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Good stick. Nice head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Body kick is blocked. Keep busy. Oh, huge head kick. Ooh. 
What a fight we got going on here. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah. Well, oh, he catches the leg here, and now he goes for the takedown. It's there. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Right hand on point. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there absolutely. Under a minute to go. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Seconds left. I mean, how many can he take? Ten seconds to go in round one. Five minutes in the books. Hey, stop! Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Nice punch land over the top. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And they separate. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 
All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, he's man. To check these kick or you're going to be limping around the office on your shoulder. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. What a punch. Lands. We want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Blocks that strike. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Curtis Blades. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. I mean, how many can he take? A series of punches from the top here by Blades. Five seconds remain in the round. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Curtis Blades. Back to his feet. Nice body. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Beautiful body kick. Blades is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. That wasn't a bad round. That wasn't a bad round. Could have gone either way. You're telegraphing your kicks, right? You can see him coming. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. Ready? It wasn't just the accuracy, Ready? it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active, so cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Blades gets caught with that punch. Huge block there. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Right hand punch in the clinch. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Blades gets touched by that kick there. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Identical twin, two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, you see his opponent's head popping back every time he lands. Leg kick checked effectively there by Blades. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a side kick. That side kick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Once you get to take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Good punch, Lance. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Blades' his lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Nice right in. Beautiful head kick. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Lands the right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. That's a big strike right there. Liver kick. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Some nice back and forth action here. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Connects now with the one, two. These guys are going at it. Blades gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Blades gets caught with that punch. And they separate. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds remain in the round. And that one certainly found the target. Final seconds of round three. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, we'll see how it goes Ready? here in this next round. A Ready? high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Good punch. 
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, huge block! Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go! Beautiful kick. And they separate. Oh, nice. Nice. Takedown defense holds up. Nice knee to the body by Lee. Slades his hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Look at the turnover in that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big body kick land. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Let's get some offense. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. And there comes the separation now. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that he the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. That was a thudding leg kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Curtis Blades. Very tricky when he throws that by. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice kick landed there by Blades. Throws the right hand there. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. And he continues to work the body here. You gotta get this thing down. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Lee. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Straight to the body by Lee. Big body kick. Big kick lands. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Just unable to quite find that range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Effective strike there by Blades. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Unable to connect with the right hand there. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action 
when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Sneaky head kick. Straight right hand, no good. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big kick lands. Blades gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Uppercut to the head. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. The next with a right. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big head kick. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about gut. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big punch land. Ooh. Less than three minutes to go now in this fifth and final round. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Elbow landed there by Lee. Oh, his right eye keeps taking damage. Looking pretty swollen now. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Oh, nice strike landed there by Curtis Blades. Under two minutes now with which to work. Blocks the shot. Going to the body now with that hook, well placed there by Lee. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big kick. And both guys really throwing with him. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Great punch. All right, time to hit the Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> when I didn't know nothing but... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go and change that finish right now. He got him! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched club. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors 
displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of round number five. Playing the winner of uh, 